Oh, hey, hi. I'm Jalen Johnston, and this is Benatar. And it's vet appointment time. Let's see how the old beast is doing. How you doing? How you doing? You're drooling. That's gross. It's your favorite place, Benatar. It's your favorite place. Aren't you so glad you're here? Aren't you so happy? No? What are you doing? Doofus. Where are we at? Are we at the gates of heaven with all this pearly harp music playing? Just too busy sniffing to be conversational right now. Got the follow-up appointment to find out the new blood numbers. Hopefully this stuff's working. <laughs> What's all this stuff? What is all this stuff? Uh, we're on our way back from the veterinarian. Good old Benatar panting away in the back seat. That's right. She's hot. It's my hot bitch. Um, guys, good news. Good news, good news. They ran the blood numbers, and uh, things are getting better with this prednisone prescription. They're still uh, at about 25% of the normal platelet count for a dog. So, you know, long way to go still, but that's about double what it was last time. The vet did kind of caution that when you get down into this low of a region uh, with the platelet count and all that stuff, the machine that they use to test it is um, a little less accurate. There's a bit more of a margin of error when you're dealing with that few. So he said, you know, hey, the first test, she could have been lower than you know, lower than 22,000 out of 175,000. Uh, or she could have been higher. And now, you know, this one, same margin of error. Uh, so, worst case scenario, if she was actually higher the first time they tested, and then this time was lower, even with the margin of error, she's not getting worse. She's, she's holding steady. Uh, that's awesome. Because... Uh, it shows that, at the very least, the prednisone is keeping her blood numbers stable. Yes. Uh, but honestly, what's more likely is that, uh, slowly but surely, she's creeping her way, uh, back up to normal blood numbers. It's been almost a week of her on this prescription stuff, and of her, uh, you know, pissing the floor and peeing her bed, and nobody sleeping because everyone's having to let her out all the time, and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, it's easier to put up with all these side effects when you know that the medication's actually working for its intended purpose. So, so we stay the course. Um, the doc was actually very encouraged. He said, you know, dog this old, this breed, uh, with this disease, the fact that we're showing any improvement at all is awesome. So, uh... We're probably looking at about another month, full month, on this prednisone prescription at this level, which means this level of side effects and all that kind of stuff, uh, to hopefully get her back up to normal numbers. And then if that works, we can start dropping the dosage of the prednisone down. All right, butthead. Congratulations. Oh, goodness. Congratulations. Pintar. Come here, come here. Come give me your victorious face. Come give me your happy champion face. Oh, or just shake it off. I'm guessing she has to pee pretty good because it's been almost two hours. It's a long time. It's a long time for this girl. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're back home. Happy, good news is, oh look, deer prints. Aventar, are we back home? Are we back home? Let's go inside. Let's not stay in the yard. Let's go inside. Wanna go inside? Let's go inside. No. Wait, where are you? There you are. Now you're framed. She didn't want to go inside. Did ya?
doofus. The uh, real bummer about this immune-mediated thrombocytopenia is that there is actually no cure. So, um, the prescription that Benatar's on is something that she will be on forever now. Once her uh, platelet count gets back up to normal, hopefully, she'll find the right level to uh, maintain whatever needs to be maintained. So yeah, we're back. Um, I'm actually feeling very encouraged. This uh, prednisone thing is kind of the one shot that we had within reason to get Benatar back to her normal spunky self. And by spunky self, I mean the uh, laziest dog in the world that just sleeps all day in the sun and then sleeps in the shade and then when the sun goes down, sleeps by the fire and then when I move into the bedroom, just sleeps at my feet. You know, it's normal life. It's a day in the life. It's a day in the life. What? What? Why are you moving away? Why, why are you... I swear, dog. She plays hard to get, but she loves me. I promise. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I've got some uh, some internet friends that are on a road trip passing through town that I might get to meet up with and actually give high fives to for the first time. IRL, that means in real life. So hopefully that'll happen. And uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy the day. Enjoy the good news and relax a little bit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll bug you later. Okay, bye.